Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very, very interesting topic. We're going to be talking about characters that we've never particularly met, but they play an absolutely massive role in the Call of Duty Zombies storyline. If you do go on to enjoy this and, of course, learn something, do me a favour and smash that like button. It does help me out a lot and subscribe for more storyline videos. And just before we actually do get into it, I just want to let you guys know that if you do want anything explained or have any questions about the storyline, feel free to hit me up down in the comment section below or on Twitter at Little Mario. Man, it's probably the best place to get in touch with me and yeah let's get straight into it today we're going to talk about the Vril Ya. Now for a lot of you guys you probably never even heard anything about the Vril Ya but they do actually play a massive role in the story like they sort of set the foundations to everything that goes about in the story and that's pretty much everything I'm going to be explaining so as you guys know Triarchs do take a lot of mythological theories and a lot of mythology itself and actually sort of twist them and turn them and relate them all to the creation of zombies and the story of zombies and sort of put it all in a universe which they call the zombies universe and sort of it's like our world but it has a lot of different factors affecting it. And in this fictional universe, the belief in the center of the earth is something that's mandatory. And there's a lot of influence actually from the ancient Greeks and their works, and then this all moves onto the whole belief in Atlantis. Obviously an entire island kingdom that falls below water and remains there. And this is where the Vril Ya actually come into play, the whole belief that the Vril Ya were actually on this island, and these Atlanteans actually did move on into Agartha and become the Vril Ya. So originally they were actually the Atlanteans, not the Vrilia. Yeah, that was my mistake. But anyway, Agartha, they move on into Agartha. The reason why I said into was because the whole belief of the center of the earth being Agartha, the whole belief that the earth is actually hollow and in the center of it, it has its own sun, also known as the Black Sun. And this all comes into play later on and I'll explain that as well. But within Agartha, there is a material known as Vril, a fluid or a substance that has an infinite amount of energy and these beings, these angel like beings as they're actually prescribed as in the book of the immortal race can actually control this substance with their minds. And the main impact these beings actually do have is they create devices known as the Vril devices. We use it a lot around the zombie storyline. You've probably seen it in Der Eisendrack. It looks a lot like this. This is a Vril device. And just a little story about this Vril device's travels. We actually had it in Call of the Dead. We passed it to Richtofen. That's the whole Easter egg there. Richtofen then gets the Falcons and Stone as well from Shangri-La. Goes up all the way to the moon and then we put it in on the MPD. And then we also have it here on the map of Der Eisendrake. So that's the story of that. The Vril Ya are actually the creators of that. Now to round things up, I want to talk a little bit about the Black Sun. The logo is highly used all around in different maps and on different sort of textures and different characters. The gatekeepers have the Black Sun logo on their chest. We also have Primus in that image pieced together on the map of Origins. They also have that Black Sun logo on their chest. A lot of people have made assumptions that the gatekeepers are Primus and we are actually gatekeepers in the future or past. But with all of these different timelines going on, it's really, really hard to know when or if we even were gatekeepers. But nonetheless, we know it's all connected due to the whole Black Sun logo and we know the Vril Ya are actually connected. We could possibly even be Vril Ya and of course Primus could even be Vril Ya. I actually made a video on Primus. If you didn't see it, definitely go check it out. Link in the top left, but if you are watching on mobile, do click the link in the description below. But that is pretty much all there is to know about the Vrilya and their whole storyline impact so far in the Call of Duty Zombie Saga. If you did actually enjoy and learn something from this video, do give it a like and of course subscribe for more Zombies video. Comment any suggestions you have down in the comment section below. And of course, if I did leave any information out or got anything wrong, post it as well down in the comment section below for reference for myself and of course others. And I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching.